Welcome to Awning Composer 5 Tips and Tricks. This video is a quick start guide to using the page layout tool in Awning Composer 5. After you have your scene put together, go to the File tab in the upper left hand corner. Then select Print along the left side. Here you can see a custom layout that I've already created. Now I'm going to show you how to recreate layouts just like this using Awning Composer. This is what the page layout screen will look like the first time you start using it. You'll see an image of the scene you are currently working on. Here you can resize the image and position it anywhere on the page. The image that is displayed will be identical to the scene you are working on in the Home tab. I can return to the Home tab and make changes such as different fabric options, awning styles, and camera angles. When I go back to the Page Layout tool, it will refresh with the changes that I've made. An easy way to use multiple images from the same scene is to copy and paste the current image. Adjust the image as necessary, then return to the Home tab to use another rendering from the current view. You can add even more pictures by continuing to use the copy and paste commands. Now returning back to the layout we started with, let's look at how the page layout tool is set up. Any printer drivers installed on your computer should show up in this list. Awning Composer will then load any necessary printer settings. You can adjust your page layout to portrait or landscape, adjust page sizes, and other printer quality settings. To the right of the printer settings are a list of commands for the page layout tool. Each command has a keyboard shortcut that can be viewed by hovering the mouse over the button. You can also right click with the mouse to view additional commands. An alignment tool is available to easily center and align images and text. Right click on the mouse to view the alignment tools. Here you can align images and text along the center or the top, bottom, left or right margins. There's also an opacity slider to control the transparency of images. I'll show you later how you can utilize this tool. For all images and text boxes, you can lock them in place. This prevents you from moving the object with the mouse, but you can still use the arrow keys. Next, I'm going to bring in a template as an image file that I've created in another program. You can create templates just like this one to help format information on the page layout tool. In the future, you will be able to create these templates within Awning Composer. If you have a company logo or even manufacturer specific logos, you can bring them onto the page by using the add image command. In this particular layout, I'm also going to add a sample image of the fabric I use for the awning in this rendering.
To make finer adjustments or take a closer look, you can zoom in and out using the scroll wheel on your mouse. You can also use the zoom in and zoom out buttons on the bottom right. There is also a fit button that will automatically fit the entire page into view. In order to make finer adjustments with images, you can hold down the shift key and use the arrow keys. Next we're going to look at how to add text. Click on add text in the command list. You will see a text box appear on the page layout screen. Just drag the text box into place and adjust the size. You'll see new options light up at the bottom of the screen. You can use any font installed on your computer as well as control font size, font style, alignment, text colors, and text box fill colors. Just left click in the text box to begin typing. To add more text boxes in the same area, you can use the copy and paste function. Make sure to select the entire text box before you copy and paste. To keep text boxes in alignment with each other, you can hold the shift key down and drag the copy text box over. Now I'm going to continue using the copy and paste commands to enter the remainder information in for the custom page layout. To put a finishing touch on the layout, I'm going to add a watermark with our company logo. I'm just going to copy and paste the current logo I'm using. I'll adjust the sizing and then right click and go to the opacity slider to adjust the transparency. Now that I'm finished with the page layout, I can go to print or print to PDF and email as an attachment. I can also save this layout to use as a template for future projects. When using future projects, just open the layout file from the print tab and set up the template and then update the images and text. You can set a layout to be the default for future projects. Now you're ready to create custom layouts to fit your customers needs.